The building behind me may look like an enormous greenhouse, but it is in fact an exact replica built on a one-to-one -one scale of the outline of a Roman bath. The ruins of that bath lie beneath. Public bathing was at the heart of the Roman lifestyle, and this bath out here in the colonies is designed just like the great baths in Rome. Bathing consisted of a specific routine performed in various temperature zones, ranging from cold to a very hot 120 degrees Fahrenheit. It was all done with an innovative heating system called a hippocaust. I met with Dr. Norbert Zeeling, director of excavation at the Xanten Park, to learn more about the Roman heating system. What are you going to show me? I want to show you our bath. This room is one complete hippocaust in Roman times, of course. And what you see here is just a reconstruction of it. So this is just part of General Hippocostum that originally would have been in the whole room, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Does this rate as a large one or is it a small one? It's a large one. This is a big one. And is this pattern of construction typical of a Hippocost? Yeah, it's quite typical. You can find it everywhere in the Roman world. And this is how the Roman heating system worked. In a hippocaust, literally translated the fire beneath, air was heated in a wood or coal-burning furnace and erected under a floor raised on small pillars. Clay pipes were built into one or more walls, and as the warm air rose, both the floor and the walls heated up. 